G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Now I've been walking for about one hour and I've got seven days left. Now I'm doing about 130 plus kilometers on the Bibbulmun track and I've got the Bergen or the Helicon Tex Bergen backpack with me again. It's loaded out four to seven days, but I've got enough food for uh, ten days in there. And it weighs in, including all my camera gear and everything, around the 15 uh, kilos mark. So what's that? 37, maybe 40 pounds in weight. Uh, like I said, I'm only just over an hour in. All was fine, and if you saw the last video I did about using the Helicon Tex Bergen, I did a 30 km walk, and no, no problem at all. And I think I said in that video, the important thing I did find was not having the shoulder straps too tight with it, just loosening them off enough where they're not pulling down on the shoulders, but enough to stop the pack pulling backwards and just tighten your hip belt up a little bit extra so all the weight is shared down onto your, onto your hips around your waist which makes it a lot easier to carry this pack or any pack to be honest if you carry any pack if you've got a good fitting waist belt or hip belt it'll be a lot more comfortable to carry and the less you feel the weight in it So that's the end of today. That's 13 point, uh, 30. Yeah, 13, that's right, not 30. One three point seven ish kilometers walk today with the pack on. Temperatures getting up to 28 degrees centigrade they were. And that's what says 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And we've still got a couple of hours for it to continue warming up. As we know with these packs, your back is gonna get sweaty. I felt my back dripping a bit but it was a funny feeling because it was actually dripping down the, the vents of the pack which I pointed out which is a good thing because it means then vents are working because you're able to get rid of the sweat perspiration down there and get some cool breeze going up there so I've got another six days with the pack and that will go up to the 130 kilometers 130 plus kilometers so, I'll see you tomorrow when I'm back out on the track. Day two of the 130.7 kilometer bushwalk with the pack. Yesterday it was just short of 14 kilometers. No hassle at all with the pack again. Worked great. So, I'm gonna keep these short so the video's not too long. But no problems. Day three of bush hiking with the Bergen. Now, I started off with 15 kilos and a collapsible one litre water bottle. That's it. Uh, I've filled it up today, so now I'm carrying 16 litres in weight with the Bergen. See how it's doing. <coughs> Yesterday, 
there was a lot of hills on this and I mean a lot of steep hills and I think I got a bit of a neck ache but I don't know if it was on the Bergen or just the hills and oh wait I'm not sure but this morning all good walking well and the pack's holding up really well Day three bushwalk with a Bergen backpack. I've added an extra kilo. I've topped up my one litre water bottle, which I bought with me. And now I'm carrying four litres of water. And the pack is handling it really well. So it's 16 kilos in the pack at the moment I'm carrying. Well, 16 kilos is included in the pack. So, so that's 14. 0.5 kilos in gear and water in the pack and it's holding up really really well so oh, there's a lot of hills yesterday and you can probably tell by the way I'm panting I'm going up another one now but let's show you the views Well worth it. Okay, I made it to the next shelter on the Bilberman track using the Bergen. Now it's supposed to be in just short of 18, I think it was 17.8 kilometres today. But I miss, missed one of the woggles, which is the arrows or the signs that show you which way to go. I just could not see it. And I just carried on walking and I think I clocked up an extra five kilometres. So this video is going to be at least 136 kilometres in length, not 131. How did it perform today? No trouble with it at all. It actually felt more comfortable today than it did yesterday. I think what that was was I reorganised my pack where I put things so it made it feel a lot better but yeah it's a good pack so that's three days gone only what's that four more to go so tomorrow I'll walk over the halfway point so see you in the next clip Sixty kilometres in with a Helicon Tex Bergen pack, and my knee has just gone. So the pack was holding up really well. It's just me that wasn't. Now I've made my way back to this unsurfaced road here to get picked up by uh, my brother. I've got about another hour and a half to wait for him to get here. But I found a shady spot where there's not too many ants and lounging back on the pack actually makes a nice headrest it does so this video was going to be 130 uh, plus kilometers but I never made it that far now the pack, multi-day pack yes it's more than capable of being a multi-day pack like I said, the only reason I didn't get any further was because of my knee. The pack, there was nothing wrong with it. The organisational, the three pockets on the outside were fantastic. It just made it so easy. Just pack the main compartment up, have my water ready for the morning, and then strap the uh, blanket on the top, 
and the under quilt on the bottom and shove the hammock in the front pocket and I was ready to go. Five minutes, ten minutes at the tops. Is it as comfortable as some of these fancy hiking backpacks? Maybe not. Will it do the same job? Definitely. Is it down to a personal preference? Definitely. Will I use it again on a long distance? Well, I've got some of those fancy backpacks. So if it's going to be more than, what, more than three days, then no, I'll, I'll use one of those fancy backpacks. They're a lot more comfortable. If it's going to be out for the weekend or out just in the bush overnight, yeah, I'll use it. As a name, it's part of their bushcraft range and it's suited more for bushcraft than it is for long distance hiking. But don't get me wrong, it is a great pack. It's a pack I'll be keeping for a long time. So it'll probably go down to the grandchildren. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it, and click all, and click the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So, until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.